So today I'm just going to take the LS off the stand, um, pretty much put the monster clutch on, and see what I can get with that. Just not too much today, but hope you guys enjoy. So pretty much that's how you sketchy lower an LS off an engine stand. <laughs> uh, seat belts work really good, they're just kind of sketchy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this uh, pilot bearing from Monster Clutches. You want to do this side towards the crank and this side towards the input shaft. So basically what I'm just going to do, they say not to lube it or anything. It's just a... Uh, They say not to lube it, not to grease it, nothing like that. So, I already have a socket the size of the diameter of that. Shoot, we'll call that push. Boy! So basically what you want to do is when you get to that whole thing, you know, you get the uh, pilot bearing flush like so. There's a little bit of marks on the face, but that's okay, just as long as you don't crunch it. Um, <clears throat> normally you want a flat plate or some kind of installer or something, but that's okay, whatever. This is a junkyard build, so. No, uh, no special tools. So now what we're going to do is put on all the monster clutch stuff. And then uh, basically measure with the caliper from China Freight um, what the clearance is for the throwout bearing. But, before you do that, I'm not sponsored by them, but get yourself some Mountain Dew. Uh, this one's Voodoo. It's a mystery flavor. 2020 Apocalypse Edition. You can see the dude's like, he's like, yo, peace. You out. <laughs> that was pretty good, so just freaking have you. America. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to install the monster flywheel and they say to use red Loctite on the flywheel bolts and I have this like insane freaking $45 1.69 fluid ounce thing of Loctite hydraulic sealant. So I'm going to use this. I use this on my Cummins front main sealant. But I'm going to use this on the th flywheel bolts, so basically I'm going to put this on first, then clean it after, you know, all that stuff. So there's like a little dowel here. I'm just going to actually take all these bolts and we'll, we'll do like, we'll do it kind of backwards, I guess. So I like having it on like a setup stand here, like so, and align it this put a bolt in there just for safety measures you know so if that thing freaking flies out that would not be fun at all so yeah we're just basically going to do that and I think there's a, a few sequence things Alright, so you go in three sequences, it's 15, 15, 34, and 74 I think is what they said for your sequence, your tightening sequence. Alright, 
So we're going to go to 25 pound foot of torque. I just hope I don't have to brace the engine up front. Alright, so this is the big boy, 74 foot pounds here. Then what they said they want you to do now, get you some brake clean and some good old paper towel. Alright, so one of the things they want you to do, or I say in general, is uh, the friction mating surface, you want it to be clean. And this whole deal in here is not a mating surface, this clutch disc. That's not a mating surface. It touches the mating surface, but this is the friction material. So don't spray your clutch with brake clean and your pressure plate you want to just the face because that's a mating surface so it's kind of it can kind of be misinterpreted i could understand just the way people think is different so you get your clutch alignment tool they even have a whole thing here on the website it's like you know hey make sure all friction surfaces are clean spray plate cleaner when installing clutch disc the dampen hub the green side faces the pressure plate which is this way the flat part faces the flywheel this thing's pretty freaking stout, so you want to be careful here. You just line up the dowel pins. Like so. One dowel pin. Two dowel pin. Oops, wrong dowel pin. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Just a little trial and error here. Alright, just like that. So I cleaned the mating surface. These guys are going to get some red Loctite and then get put on. So we we'll grab the Loctite. All right, so these pressure plate bolts are 20, 40, and 52, three stages. So, kind of put you right there. So basically, when you're done uh, doing everything, should be able to pull this dude right out and be able to put it right back in. Like so. Yep. Just like so. 26 spline or something? Is that Alright, so back to what I was doing now, I actually have a straight edge. I had one, I knew I had one, I just couldn't find it, so now I found it. So, what I want to do, obviously, turn this dude on, zero it, and then we're going to actually set this up like so, so we can plop this dude on here, like this, edge to edge, so it's true to the bell housing.
All right, so on this, guys, we're going to measure the face of the bell housing. So you take the spring, obviously, fully compress this, and use a straight edge here on the tranny to make sure that we're good here. Gotta get this screw in here. Make sure it's zero. Alright guys, so basically this whole setup right here, um, you know, you measure with the straight edge and whatnot, um, subtract the distance of the straight edge to subtract from your measurement, and basically the, um, you want this from the face of the clutch to the slave, completely compressed, you want no less than 0 0.06 of an inch, so hundredths, no less than six hundredths of an inch, and no more than two tenths of an inch, 0 0.200 is what Monster spec is. Obviously, you got to measure, um, so Google, it's application specific, so this is F body, so this is only work for F body. Also, your shims and the slave cylinder you're using. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this. Um, it's really not fun. It's a pain doing this whole thing to me at least maybe some people get it But I don't know numbers just confuse me. So I don't know uh, But I got point one one two So I'm gonna take the shim out one of these days and measure just to see and order some more bolts for that Slave cylinder just to make sure that they're engaging correctly. So well, thanks for watching guys uh, I can subscribe to me what you think Woo!